There's no doubt about it, injuries have riddled the New York Giants to start this year, and it's definitely been frustrating. But through all of these injuries, you can find the bright spots because it has allowed young guys like Kadarius Tony to step up into bigger roles and really shine and show their star potential in the league. So today, I want to analyze Kadarius Tony's tape, really see what he brings to the table, what he can do well, what he needs to improve on, and why I personally think Kadarius Tony could be the star receiver for the future for the New York Giants. So let's get into the film breakdown. Taking a look at this first play, I really want to highlight what I think was Kadarius Toney's best play from this past weekend, and it was up against Trevon Diggs, possibly the defensive player of the year this year. Pre-snap here, we're going to see the Cowboys are going to be dropping into a cover three look, and they're going to tag Mabel to this, basically meaning at the bottom of the screen, Kadarius Toney's going to be one-on-one -on -one with possible defensive player of the year, Trayvon Diggs. So offensively, the Giants are going to counter this by dialing up a little play-action shot here. We're going to have a post ran by the receiver at the top of the screen. And this is where we're going to see Tony work one-on-one -on -one here, running this deep whip route. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see Kadarius Tony with a really nice inside release here, winning inside leverage on Trayvon Diggs, which is going to set up the route perfectly. Because now as we see, as Tony won this inside leverage, Trayvon Diggs is going to fight to try to get back underneath and undercut this and try to defend that deep over route. But all this is doing is setting it up that perfectly for Kadarius Tony to whip back out and get wide open. And without losing a step, Tony's going to flip right back to the outside and be wide open in space, making the possible defensive player of the year look silly in space. Once again, I'll have the play roll from the top, but just look at the little nuances in his route running game, how he sets up Trayvon Diggs perfectly, letting him get spun around in space. On top of that, look how smooth and quick he is out of his breaks without even losing a step. These are signs of a possible franchise wide receiver. Taking a look at this next play now, I want to kind of jump off the gears of his route running, and now I want to look at his deep ball ability, how he's able to track the deep ball, how good he is, can he go up and make a catch and win these contested catches. So pre-snap here, we're going to get another cover three look by the Cowboys, and offensively, we're going to be focusing here at the top of the screen with Kadarius Tony's double move here. And at the snap of the ball, really look at how this double move is going to influence his deep third safety here. We're going to see Tony, he's going to flash his head and his hips all the way to the outside. And this subtle flash, we see it creates his corner want to drive down on it, getting him out of position. And now that he's got the corner set up perfectly, he's going to flip his hips back up field without losing a step, getting over top of the defense for a big play for his quarterback here. Unfortunately, we see the ball's a little bit underthrown due to pressure, but I'll have the play roll from the top one more time. Look how he sets up the route. Look how he makes that corner bite down to get back over top of him. But most importantly, look how he comes back to the football, works through that contested catch. These are all signs of, like I said, a possible franchise wide receiver. Now we've seen Tony's route running. We've seen his ability to make those contested catches. Now let's see what he's like with the ball in his hand and open field. So pre-snap here, we got a cover three look by the Cowboys. And offensively, I really want to focus on Tony running this five-yard whip route here at the bottom of the screen. As I let the play roll, focus on the slot receiver here, how he's going to run this fade route to drive off that flat defender, almost setting up a pick here for Tony to be get wide open in the flats. Now this will be a really nice five yard gain for any offense, but this is where Kadarius Tony's different. He catches that ball and then he splits two defenders, gets vertical working down the field, and then he nearly splits again two more defenders to almost score a touchdown here. I'll have the play roll from the top, but look at Tony's ability to get the ball in space and be able to navigate himself through traffic to be able to pick up extra yards after the catch. Once again, these are all pieces that are building towards a possible franchise wide receiver. So we've seen a lot of traits to like in Kadarius Tony. Really nice route running, smooth out of his breaks. He's also really good at making that contested catch, being able to track the deep ball. He's also got really good yak ability, yards after a catch. Now, let's flip the gears and look at him as just a dynamic weapon for the offense and what he brings to the table. So offensively here, we see the Giants, they're going to be running counter bash, basically meaning back away from polars. So we're going to have QB counter here to the front side, and then to the back side, we're going to have this wide zone that Tony could hand the ball off. All he's going to do is read the defensive end in white. If he widens with the running back, he's going to pull it and follow his pullers. If the DN crashes to the QB where Tony's at, then he's going to hand off the wide zone and the running back's going to have the corner. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see the DN widen to take away that wide zone from the running back. This will key Kadarius Tony to pull the ball and keep the QB counter. And as I let the play roll, once again, we're going to see this allows Kadarius Tony to get out into space. He's got two pullers for two defenders and it's time to make a big gain here. Unfortunately, we're going to see the guard. He's not going to be able to latch onto that second defender, which actually is who creates the tackle right on the one-yard line here. But I'll let the play roll from the top. Nonetheless, it's a really nice nine-yard gain from the offense. And this is just another asset that Tony brings to the New York Giants offense, just being a dynamic threat that defenses have to game plan around week in and week out. 
overall, we've seen a lot to like from Kadarius Toney. His ability as a route runner to get open and create space for himself. His ability to be smooth out of his transitions and not losing a step. Also, we've seen his ability as a pure athlete to get the yards after the catch. We've seen him on the deep ball, being able to track it, make contested catches. Also, the added threat of being able to play that Wildcat quarterback. Week in and week out, he's going to give defensive coordinators headaches trying to game plan around him. But, like I said, this is only a small sample size. There's still a lot that needs to be seen from Kadarius Toney. So, I don't want to declare him a franchise wide receiver quite yet. But, so far, we've seen a very solid foundation. Let me know what you guys think, though. Is Kadarius Toney a future all-pro franchise wide receiver? Or do you think he's just another utility guy like a Tavon Austin type receiver? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how you think the Giants are going to finish this year. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.